Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Ana Beatriz, how are you? Hi, teacher, I'm fine. And you? Doing well. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back, Sam. We are almost ready to start now. First of all, I would like to hear, how do you feel today? How do you feel? Hello. I feel happy, teacher. Ah, okay. You feel so happy because today is the day. Yes. To today is uh, worship worship day. Uh -huh. 
Okay. Worship day. What about celebration of the of the friendship? With my family. Ah, okay. My my father and my mother and my brother. ¿Cómo se dice aún no? ¿Cómo se dice? Aún no. Ah. O todavía no. No yet. What? No yet. No, no yet. With my brother, no yet. Okay. Okay, okay. Today we are going to practice a little reading. I'm just suggesting something. Good evening. Hello, welcome. Okay, here we go. I got it. Okay, let me see the attendance here before. I got here. <laughs> okay, today we are going to continue with uh, the previous topic. And maybe uh, some of you are missing in order to continue reading about what you did uh, in the last activity. As you see in the topic for today, let me close something here first.
Ok, antes de iniciar, déjenme contarles que ya eh, he actualizado el cuadro de notas. Pero no sé por qué está tan lenta mi máquina el día de hoy. Para acceder a la, al cuadro de notas se está tardando demasiado. Ok. Um, solo estoy pendiente con la semana 1 y 2 con Francis, que no sé si se encuentra. Y luego, bueno, ya veremos el resto. Para el día de mañana tenemos a... Uh, el review del midterm. Dice, yo estoy pendiente con la semana 2, pero es que se me ha dañado la, mi computadora. Ok. No problem. Uh, lo más importante, lo más importante es que uh, hay que, ir, hay que ir tratando de, de hacerlas. Eh, no sé si han leído un mensaje que les mandaron. Bueno, se los mandan a diario. Hay un mensaje en el grupo que les envían ahí, donde les van dando alguna información eh, muy importante. El día de hoy se los enviaron. Donde les dan eh, la bienvenida, les esperamos sin falta. No olvidar que deben registrarse con su nombre completo, según Dui, y mantener su cámara encendida. Esto siempre se les dice. Nuestro equipo técnico estará atento y brindarles soporte. En caso que requier eh, requieran, puedan escribir a este chat grupal o en el número privado. Pedimos con especial favor estar durante toda la sesión en cada jornada. Recuerde que cada sesión es de dos horas, con un total de 120 minutos por clase, es necesario presentarse los minutos que nos quedan para que usted pueda llegar al 80% de asistencia que Insafor nos exige por políticas. Y bueno, ahí les, les, les explican eh, algunas cositas, que espero eh, las tomen en cuenta, porque sí he estado revisando ya y, y sí, hay algunos ahí que tienen, tienen algunos espacios en blanco, pero bueno, cada quien sabe cómo lo va a ordenar. Let me switch my internet service. Okay, I got it. Okay, Ana Beatriz Campos. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Bautista Ista Escobar. Escobar. No. Eh, Claudia. Present. Ok. Francis. Present teacher. Ahí está Francis. Yes, teacher. Galileo. Present, sir. Ok. Jonathan. Present, mister. Ok. Rodrigo. Rodrigo, Juan Carlos, present teacher, Laura Carolina, present teacher, Laura. María, María Concepción, present, María Elena, sorry teacher, okay. Laura present, ok, ok, Laura present, María Elena. Bien, 
Okay, Mayra Beralice. Mayra. Not here, Miguel Angel. Present teacher. Okay, Zaira Marleni. Zaira. Zaira. Not here. Misael. Present teacher, good evening. Okay, good evening, sir. Uh, Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Uh, Jenny. Present teacher. Okay. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. And Brian Javier. Present teacher. Okay. Alguien no mencioné. Teacher, ahorita me voy agregando Escobar. Ajá, Escobar, sabía que estaba por ahí. Pero voy a estar doyente, teacher. Ok. Hey, sorry. Ay, ay, sorry, ma... sorry por mí. <risa> I imagine, I imagine why, because you all the time are really busy. Okay, no problem. Let me see. Okay, Mayra, 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 no pareció. No. And Zaira. No. Rodrigo? No. Okay. Let us see what was, what's going on today. I remember the last activity and I would like to invite you to continue chatting with the rest of the class. All the information that you got with your group. And later on, we are going to start talking about the new topic. In fact, we are going to continue talking about the focus group because it is the main point that we're going to see. Remember, tomorrow we are going to make a review about the unit two. And and then we are going to start with the new unit that is going to be the number three, okay? Because this level got to have uh, more hours life, 10 more hours. And that is why sometime, um, according to the lesson plan that I got, um, we had to study or make a review of or maybe design topic, but in, in different words, in order that all of you can understand exactly what we are talking about it. Okay, I would like to hear and, and to see what do you have there. Siempre que dejamos parte de una actividad para la, el siguiente día, como que se los olvida. ¿O será que pierden la información? ¿O será que se hacen los desconocidos? I don't know why. A mí no se me olvida. As you can see, when, when, when I say something the next day, I ask you to continue doing the same activity, but... That usually happens not only here, but also in the university sometimes. But there is, it's quite different, you know. Okay. Who wants to continue? Nadie. Okay. Si nadie quiere, entonces. We are, I got a lot of material in order to share with you. No problem at all. But remember, you need to practice. And today, uh, as you can see, 
as you can see here, this is video conference number 14. We are going to talk about focus group and we are going to talk about article reading. That means that, that, that I, I'm going to ask you to read. And I need, and I hope that all of you can participate on it because that is the main purpose that you can do it. Maybe sometime you have some doubts about how to pronounce the words. As you can see, as soon as you finish, I read it in order that you can get familiar with the sounds. But it's up to you. I remember um, I told you at the beginning of the class, in my case, I like that all of you participate and express what you think about the topic that we are talking about. It. Because that is the, the, the purpose here. This is a different level. That means that uh, you need to develop your skills. Not only just uh, writing, but also in a speaking too. I agree. I agree with you, teacher. And I invite you to, to do it, but as you can see, only just a few of you participate. Eh, yo siempre los invito a que participen todos, pero lamentablemente algunos, pues, no lo hacen. Entonces, en mi caso, no estoy acostumbrado a estar llamando a uno por uno. Fulano, participe, fulano. No, porque si estamos todos juntos es porque tenemos un objetivo y el objetivo es desarrollar el idioma, ¿sí? Ok, based yes. on that, based Teacher, on that. Bueno, Wendy. no sé si, sí, que no sé si, lo voy a decir en español porque en inglés no sé cómo es. Okay. No sé si a todos les pasa o no sé si solo a mí, pero yo ni siquiera le entiendo cuándo vamos a participar. De verdad. Entonces, por eso no le participo. Sí, al menos a mí eso me pasa. Le soy sincera en decirle. Sí, Incluso okay. las tareas a veces no se las entiendo qué es lo que ha dejado o qué vamos a hacer. Entonces, o sea, ¿cómo voy a hacer lo que no entiendo? No le atino. Ok, okay. Solo okay. Siento. okay I got you. But I, I, I ask you if you have questions. Pero yo también les hago preguntas y les digo, ¿tienen alguna consulta? ¿Sí? Or maybe sometimes I say, okay, I need a volunteer who wants to read. Necesito un voluntario que quiera leer. Who wants to participate? ¿Quién quiere participar? Son palabras claves que uh, ya las manejamos, ¿no? I, I think to share. No I think when the mean uh, she doesn't understand at least 50 or 16 percent of conversation. Uh -huh. I, I think she is talking about that. But talking about the meaning of the, of the words. The conversation. Okay. When, okay. When, you, when you ask, uh, about who wants to participate, maybe she don't understand all all phrases. She doesn't. She doesn't understand. She doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. Keep in mind. She doesn't. She doesn't. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She doesn't understand exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, I got it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. okay. No problem. No problem. Okay, but uh, well, sometimes, as you can see, when we are reading something, cuando estamos leyendo algo, I ask you that you explain me in your own words. Les, yo les pido y les digo, explíquenme en sus propias palabras de lo que acabamos de leer. Yo sé que no es fácil, porque lo que yo trato de desarrollar en ustedes es el pensamiento crítico, the critical thinking, que para mí es uno de los métodos importantes para desarrollar el, el, el la fluidez. Porque ya ahí es cuando usted va a buscar todos sus recursos, todo ese vocabulario que ya tiene, 
y lo va a tirar, ¿sí? Y de esa forma usted se va a expresar. No matter if you are going to make mistakes or not. But the, the, the main point here is that the communication about the topic that we are going to study. Entonces, Wendy, don't tell me that you don't understand exactly when I, when I ask you to participate because you know. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Ah? No me diga que no, porque la mayoría de veces que yo he pedido que participen, usted siempre lo ha hecho. Pero es que a veces no le entiendo <risa> la tarea o en el momento que está diciendo que participen hasta que los demás participen. <risa> so, okay, but in that case, what you can do is just raise your hand and you can ask me, okay, Tisha, can I ask you a question? Yeah, could you, could, could you explain me again, please? Or could you explain me with different words? What do you want that I do? And I'm going to do it. But if you don't tell me, pero si no me dice. Yes. Yeah, ahora yo voy en base a que ya estamos en un nivel intermedio. Y lo que yo quiero es como... Uh, to to help you to develop the language that is uh, going to be difficult yes maybe it's going to be difficult but later on you are going to feel easy pero luego usted lo va a sentir fácil sí ahorita en el proceso psicológico que ustedes están eh, enfrentando now the psychological process that you are facing it is that Everything, most of you, everything that you want to say in English, you are translating into Spanish. And later on, you, 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 you try to tell me something. That, and I know, and I recognize, and I know the process. But suddenly, uh, you are going to start telling me everything, and you are not going to need to translate into Spanish. But it's a psychological process that we need to pass. That's right. Ah, oh, ok. Porque luego, luego ustedes, de tanto que yo voy ahí martillando, participe, dígame aquí, dígame allá, va a llegar un momento que usted ya no tiene tiempo de estar traduciendo, sino que ya agarra las palabras y las va ordenando. Y de repente va a decir, wow, at least now I, I don't need to be translating anywhere because I can do it. Y entonces diremos, misión cumplida. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> okay, okay, that means that today we are going to read. Es que cuando les pida que lean, por favor, sin miedo, vamos leyendo despacio. Okay, uh, we are going to continue talking about focus group. And I remember that uh, maybe some uh, slices like this are repeated, but I need that, that one that never participate, they can do it today. Si tenemos que leer este párrafo uh, una y otra vez y lo tienen que leer todos, eso es para mí es importante. Cada vez que usted levanta su manito y dice, Tisha, can I try? Y comienza usted a leer, eso es muy importante porque ya me está dando luces de que sí, vamos en buen camino. But if you never try to do it, pero si nunca usted dice, no, ¿para qué lo voy a leer? Si yo ya lo puedo leer. Ok, show me. If you know how to do it, just show me. Si ya sabe cómo leerlo, ok, hágalo. Para que sus compañeros también aprendan de usted. Yeah. Sí, porque de eso se trata. Hay, uh, there is something that we call cooperative learning. It's an approach that we use in order that uh, in a group... Always, most of the time, we have people from different abilities. Siempre en un grupo tenemos personas con habilidades muy diferentes y eh, los demás vamos aprendiendo de ellos. Even as a teacher, I learn from you sometimes. Okay, después del Sermón del Monte, I would like to hear one of you that would like to read this slide. Y si después de que la lee, alguien más la quiere leer, ok, no problem. And we can go in that way. Because 
that is the goal for today. Why to use focus group? The, 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 the main purpose here is not just that I, that I read it to you. Of course, that sometimes I need to read it because you have some doubt how to pronounce some words. Pero necesito que se tiren al agua. Eso es lo que importante. And that way you are going to learn how to swim. Okay? Who wants to start reading? Porque se me hicieron ahí los, los no entendí sobre la actividad que estábamos haciendo en la última que quedaron. Solo participaron dos equipos. I know who they are. Yo sé quiénes fueron. <laughs> and I keep in mind. Okay, who wants to start reading? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Why to use focus group to draw upon respondents' attitude, feelings, belief, experience, and reactions in a way in which would not be feasible using other methods? For example, observation, one-to-one -one interviewing, or questionnaire service. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, today I'm going to look for somebody. I'm going to say name maybe because I want to see you participating. Ahí me está levantando la mano Jenny Suleyma Santos Chavez. Okay, Jenny. No problem, Jenny, go ahead. I read. Yes, of course, I want to hear you. Why to use focus group to draw e upon respondents' attitude, feelings, beliefs, experience, and reactions in a way in which would not be feasible using other methods. For example, observation, one to one interviewing, or questionnaire survey. Okay, gracias. Después sigue Wendy, but I'm going to read it. To draw upon respondents, attitudes, feeling, belief, experiences, and reaction in a way in which could not be feasible using other methods. For example, observation, one-to-one -one interviewing, or questionnaire service. Okay, Wendy. Okay, teacher. Why to use focus group to draw upon re respondents' attitudes, feelings, beliefs, experience, and reactions in a way in which would not be feasible using other methods? For example, observation, one to one, interviewing or questionary service. Okay. Choose, choose your victim, Wendy. Elija su víctima, a quien quiere que lea. De los que no participan. A, ver. a quien alcanzo a ver aquí es a María Elena. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> La segunda. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, why to use focus group to draw upon respondents attitude feelings belief experience and reaction in a way in a, in a which would be possible using other methods for example observation one-to-one -one interviewing or questionnaire search Okay, uh, what about if you, at the moment that you start reading, um, we start um, guiding uh, with uh, commas and periods and so on. Okay, try to read in this way, to draw upon responding attitudes, feeling, belief, experience, in reaction in a way in which could not be feasible using other methods, for example, observation, one-to-one -one interviewing or questionnaire service. Okay, try to do it that way. Somebody else, somebody else want to do it? 
Hey, teacher, I can read. Okay, can Juan, I Carlos. Read? Juan Carlos, go ahead, Juan Carlos. Okay, way to use focus group to draw to draw upon responded attitude, feelings, beliefs, experience, and reactions in a way in which will not be feasible using other methods. For example, observation, one-to-one, -one, interviewing, or questionnaire service. Okay, service, service, service. Okay, let us continue. Okay, I, I need a volunteer who wants to read it. Me teacher. Me teacher. Oh. Okay, me aparecieron dos, una primero de, de, después la otra, okay. Okay. Well, not to use it focus group. Okay, repeat again, repeat again. Léamelo de nuevo, por favor. When not to use it focus group. Mm -hmm. When not to use. When not to use focus group. Okay. Understand what people really are interested in. Ter Como ahí ya me trabé. Instead of. Instead of, of what they say they do. Situation where, where you worry about people influence each other. Ok, veo que me, me se le está olvidando pronunciarme la ING porque también en la primera no, no lo oí. Understanding what people really do instead of what they say they do. Situations where you worry about people influencing each other. Ok, next, somebody else. Okay, when not to use focus group, understanding what people really do instead, instead of, of what they say, say they do. Situation where you worry about people influencing each other. Okay, repeat the first, the first word. Okay, sorry. Could you read the third word, please? This one? Understanding. Okay, understanding. 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 Ah, uh -huh, much better, okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, somebody else? Alguien más? Mi teacher. Okay. When not to use focus group? Understanding what people really do instead of what they say they do. Situation where you worry about people influencing each other. Okay, right here, right here you need to make a connector, each other, each other. Each other. Yes, each other. Each other. Yeah, situation where you worry about people influencing each other. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else? Somebody else? Teacher. Hola. Adelante. When not to use the focus group? Understanding what people really do instead of what they say they do. Situation where you worry about people influencing each it's, it's other. Each other. Each other. Yep. Thank you. Okay, now that you have read, uh, I consider that you already got an idea when not to use focus group. Okay. People, we need to understand also the message. Okay. Let us continue with how to organize focus group. Who wants to continue? Me, hey, teacher. I'm sorry. Okay. So, to organize focus group, 
the feeling a focus group, the time focus group question, recruiting, uh, preparing for participants, conducting the focus group, analyzing the data. Defining a focus group, designing focus group question, recruiting and preparing for participants, conducting the focus group, analyzing the data. 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 Yes. These are the steps that we are going to follow in order to organize a focus group, okay? Don't forget to take into account all these aspects. Okay, somebody else? Me, teacher. Okay. How to organize focus group? Defining a focus group, designing focus group questions, recreating and preparing for participants, conducting the focus group, analyzing the data. The data, okay. Okay, we need to hear uh, really clear all this uh, step that we are going to follow in order to organize a focus group. That is uh, the main point here. Okay, let, let's see an example here. Question for a, a focus group on dental flossing engagement question. I don't know if somebody of you wants to read it or I read it fell and later on you are going to read it. Me to uh, Okay. What is your favorite toothpaste? What do you notice when you look at other people's teeth? Exploration question. Who in particular has influenced your dental habit? What are the pros and cons of flossing your teeth? When you floss, how do you flow in through? When do you don't, why not? How do you feel when told about possible damage caused by not flossing? How do you feel about yourself when you float regularly? When you don't? Exit question. Is there anything else you would like to say about why do you or do not float your deep or on a regular basis? Not cluster and not cluster in separate groups. Okay. Okay, uh, uh, I need that you repeat the first one, please. Do you want to read it again? Question number one. What is your favorite toothpaste? Ah, I got it here, okay. What is your favorite, favorite, favorite? favorite? What is your favorite toothpaste? Yes. What is your favorite? Favorite. For example, I can ask you a, a personal question. What What is your favorite music? Uh, I using uh, Colgate. No, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. What is your favorite music? Ah, music. I I was reading. Uh, <laughs> I I listen uh old music. Uh, for example, romantic, a uh, group, a. Uh, Banda, eh, baladas, rock, etc. It is it is a mix. Yes, yes, <laughs> okay. Music. okay, okay, no problem. Okay, repeat the words, repeat the words, please. Repita la palabra, por favor. Which one? The one that, that, that you have problem in the, the line in the question one. Uh, favorite. Now ah, we got it. Okay. Favorite. Now ask me a question using the word. Oh, teacher, what is your favorite uh, restaurant? My favorite restaurant is my house. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do you know why? 
It's very cheap. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> delicious. And not, not only for that, it is because I can see. Because you have. The... <laughs> you have a big dish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, somebody else wants to say something about that. I don't know why. Okay, who, who wants okay. to say something? Alguien más quiso decir algo por ahí, no sé quién fue. I say because you have maybe your the greatest chef in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course it is. And at the same time, I can see exactly what uh, I'm going to eat. And in a restaurant, I we we just see the people in front, but we never know what is happening uh, on the back. Of course, sometimes when we had to travel, um, we need to eat in a restaurant or something like that. But in my case, if I'm close to my house or even if I can cook my own uh, meal, I, I, I do it. I used to do it a lot of time when I used to live abroad. I used to cook. And I'm still learning how to cook something. You know, okay, but that is another issue. Okay, somebody else wants to read. Alguien más quiere leer las preguntas? Me, teacher. Okay. <laughs> An example question for a focus group on dental flossing engagement questions. What is your favorite toothpaste? What do you Notice when you look at other people's teeth. Exploration question. Who in particular has influenced your dental habits? What are the pros and cons of flushing your teeth? When you flush, how do you follow through? When you don't, why not? How do you feel when told about possible damage caused by not flossing? How do you feel about yourself when you floss regularly? When you don't? Exit question. Is there anything else you would like to say about why do you do or do not floss your teeth on a regular basis? Not. Losers and non losers in separate groups. Okay. I need that you read again this word. Can you Me see corrige, my word? teacher, cuando pronuncio yeah, yeah, mal. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is why I'm asking you to read again this word. Por eso le estoy pidiendo que me lea otra vez esta palabra. No sé si ve mi mouse. Yes. Engagement. 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 Engagement question. Engagement questions. Ah, okay. Se le oye bastante mejor. Engagement mm -hmm. question. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to read it. An example question for a focus group potential closing engagement question. Number one, what is your favorite to stay? Second, what do you notice when you look at other people's teeth? A clearing question. Who in particular has influenced? No influence it. No, 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 no. We never say the influence. Your dental habits. What are the pros and cons of losing your teeth? Remember, it is, a, it is a question. What are the pros and cons of losing your teeth? When, when you floss, how do you follow through? When you don't, why not? Number six, how do you feel? Or how do you feel? Si usted lo entiende así más fácil. How do you feel when told about possible damage caused by not flossing? I'm going to repeat this. How do you feel or how do you feel when told about possible damage caused by not flossing? The number seven. How do you feel about yourself when you floss regularly, when you don't? I'm going to read again. 
How do you feel about yourself when you floss regularly? When you don't? Ask the question. Is there anything else you would like to say about why you do or do not floss your teeth on a regular basis? Not flosser and no flosser in separate groups. Okay, any questions so far from here about this question? In question seven, teacher, questions? Re regularly. 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 Yes. Okay. Regularly. It's not exactly an E. Regularly. I don't know, uh, uh, I guess at this level, you already know how uh, how many vowel sound we have in English, right? Or not, or not idea. A este nivel, no sé si ya tienen una idea de, de cuántos sonidos vocálicos podríamos tener en inglés. No, o sí. I know that you know. Oh, no. no teacher. No idea? No. Ah, okay. In a general way, maybe we can help 12. Then form así como sin complicarnos mucho. But sometimes going deeper, we can find like 16 or maybe 24 different sounds. Pero eso no nos compliquemos ahorita. Maybe uh, in an advanced level, you are going to see phonetic. Phonetic is the way how we produce the sounds and how we are going to read the IPA uh, symbols that dictionary, different dictionary have in order that you can understand exactly how you are going to articulate your vocal cord in order to produce the right sounds. Ahí se va a, a, a ver exactamente en qué parte de de nuestra cavidad bucal se produce cada uno de los sonidos, cuáles son glutales. Algunos los conocemos, sí. But now try to get close to the pronunciation and later on we are going to polish about. Okay, another question. Otra pregunta que tengáis, por favor. Or somebody who wants to read, just let me know. I okay. want. Excuse me. <laughs> I want to read. Ah, oh, you want to read? Okay, try to do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, questions for the focus group on dental flossing. Okay. Engagement questions. What is your favorite toothpaste? What do you notice when you look at other people's teeth? Exploration question. Who in particular has influenced your dental habit? What are the pros and cons of closing your teeth? When you close, how do you follow through? When you don't, why not? How do you feel when thought about possible damage caused by not closing? How do you feel about yourself when you Lost regularly when you don't. Exit question. Is there anything else you would like to say about why do or do not floss your feet on a regular basis? I think that's all. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, I, I need that you make an screenshot now of this question. Necesito que hagan uh, como una captura de esta lámina, because we are going to interrupt each other and you are going to answer all those questions and somebody else is going to ask you the questions. Um, maybe we are not going to have enough time in order to answer the seven or eight questions, but at least you are going to think how you are going to answer. So please try to make a an screenshot now. Les pido que hagan una captura 
porque luego vamos a entrar en un uh, breakout room. And uh, there you are going to talk about this question. Vamos a hacer como un ensayo, ¿sí? ¿Ya lo hicieron? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ah, ¿se dan cuenta que no les gusta que les hablen español? Yes, ok, ok, here we go. <laughs> sí, teacher. Ah, no, 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 ya no se vale. Ok, uh, you are going to answer the question. Uh, you are going to be in pairs. Se van a, van a estar en pareja. Uno va a hacer las preguntas primero. Eh, usted elija only five questions. Elija cinco. Y creo que el tiempo nos va a ajustar solo para que en el primer round alguien de los dos responda. En el second round, we are going to switch the roles. Para el segundo, vamos a cambiar los roles. El que respondió is going to ask the question and you are going to answer. Tiene ocho, you can choose only five questions, ¿ok? Wendy, ¿me comprendió qué es lo que dije, Wendy? Sí, yes, teacher. Explíqueme, por favor, qué es lo que yo dije. Que en el primer, la primera vez que nos vamos a reunir en grupo va a ser nada más uno el que va a hacer las, las preguntas y las respuestas y en la otra vez vamos a cambiar de papel. Ah, ok. Por lo tanto, no le acepto la teoría que me diga que no me comprende lo que digo. Se da cuenta que solita, solita Dios me dio la respuesta de lo que yo quería. Más vale que esto está siendo grabado por control de calidad. Yes, got it is. It's been record. Okay. Okay, here we go. I don't know if you, somebody else has uh, any questions so far from here. Yo, teacher. Ah, yes, Pero yes. sí, vamos a responder esas preguntas o cómo, porque no yes. entendía. Yes. Ah, okay. Uno de los dos hace la pregunta y el otro responde. Hagamos un ejemplo. Aquí, para que lo hagamos más fácil. Okay, the first question said, what is your favorite Twitch page? Okay, who wants to answer it? Imagínese, imagine that suddenly you are walking down on the, on the market and a display asks you that question. De repente, una display le hace esa pregunta. Esa pregunta, ¿cuál sería su respuesta? Luminous white. Me, teacher. Ah. Ok, tell uh, me. My favorite toothpaste, my yeah. favorite toothpaste is Colgate. Ajá, Diego, Diego, anote, anote. Favorite, favorite. Favorite. Okay. Ahí, ahí está, excelente. Se dan cuenta, por eso me gusta que participen. Ya les dije, el objetivo es ayudarles. Entonces, pero usted también debe decir, aquí estoy dispuesto. But if you don't want, how can I do it? Y lo que no quiero es que al final del módulo vayan a decir, no, es que él solo a los mismos le daba chance de participar. No, aquí está abierto para todo el mundo. If you don't want, that is the problem. But if you want, okay. Somebody else wants to uh, answer the question? Okay, let, let, let me see. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Misael, would you like to read the first question, please? Okay, teacher, let's see. Um... Question number one, what is your favorite toothpaste? Okay, Elisa, Elizabeth, could you answer it, please? Elizabeth Martinez, are you there? Cameras on, please, cameras on. Okay, I'm going to read something that I have here. I'm going to read again. Un mensajito que cayó 
por ahí por no sé qué horas. Pero ahí está. Se lo voy a reenviar para que lo leamos otra vez. ¿Qué dice el mensajito? No lo leen, ¿verdad que no? ¿Qué es lo que pide? Que conectemos la cámara. Y... Ah, les esperamos sin falta. No olvide que debe registrarse con su nombre completo según Dui y mantener su cámara encendida. It's not Max that is giving this instruction. It's part of the, of the program that we need to follow the rules. Ahí están las reglas. It's up to you if you don't want to do it, okay? Okay, but let, let's go to the breakout room. No, but before I need to check out the attendance. Déjenme revisar la asistencia antes porque después you are going to take a long time. Después se van a tomar mucho tiempo y me van a decir, no, nah, teacher, we need 10 minutes to do this. Ahí está Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ah, and I see that some of you already uh, finished the midterm exam. Uh -huh. That I almost close to finish that with number two. Okay. Ana Beatriz is there, okay. Uh, Ana Lilian. Present. Bautista. It's not there. Escobar is busy. Presente. Ajá, uh -huh. ahí está. Claudia. Present teacher. Present. Okay, uh, Francis. Francis. Teacher, I'm here. Carlos. No, 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 yes. let me see who is it. Bautista. Yes. Uh -huh. eh, Galileo. Present, sir. Jonathan. Present, Mr. Rodrigo. No, ya Rodrigo no lo hemos mirado. Juan Carlos. Present, teacher. Laura. Present, teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. I'm here, teacher. Mayra. 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 Miguel Ángel. Present, teacher. Okay, Zaira. 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 Misael. Present, teacher. Maribel Wendy. <laughs> Present, teacher. Suleyma Jenny. Present teacher. Eh, Lisette Yesenia. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. Ryan. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Let us go back to the questions. Okay, let me see. Oh, we have problem. I got 19. In one, uh, it's gonna be integrated by three. Okay, here we go. I'll try to speak about at least five questions there. Here we go. Wendy, 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 Carlos, Alberto, Bautista, Bonilla is waiting. Wendy. Wendy. 
Wendy. Wendy. When you look at other people's teeth, okay, uh, you notice it is like a notar exactly. Okay, exactly. Uh, why teeth? So, I, yeah, I, I notice why teeth. Uh, what do you notice time. when you look at other people's teeth? Uh -huh. uh, I notice a uh, white teeth. Okay, you uh, notice there is a uh, a look a uh, uh, very smile. Uh, no, a uh, pretty smile. Okay. Okay, very good. That has a brilliant smile. There is a, like, it's a brillante. A shine. Brilliant. Exactly. Okay. So the other, uh, what are the pros and cons to flossing your teeth? A number three or four? That is the number four. Okay. What are the pros number and cons? cons or flossing your teeth. Oh, flossing your teeth, exactly. Uh, flossing is dental teeth, verdad? Let me see. I check it because that word is new for me. <laughs> flossing, flossing. That is F O O S I N G. That is usar hilo dental. That is that flow, flossing. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. Is closing? Closing. 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 Yes. Closing. closing. Uh, Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Have, have you heard about the dental floss? Dental floss. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I use floss. a dental floss okay. every day. The, the action that you do with the dental floss, that is called flossing. Okay. 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 So I repeat again. What are the pros and cons of flossing your teeth? Flossing is clean, but with, uh, like in Spanish, you know, like an hilo dental. Yes. Okay. So yeah. that is the meaning about flossing. What okay. are the pros and cons of flossing your teeth? What do you think? That is possible that you have a, 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 a cons about when you when you use flossing in your teeth? Yes. Uh, if you damage in your in your skin, well, no say say in see. Uh, you blue. You I hurt. don't know when. Uh huh. Uh, bleeding. Your your mouth. Ah, it's possible. Ah, yeah, yeah. I know that is possible. That you cut the. That the you have skin. some problems with the. With the use uh, with the excessive use. Or a uh, strong a strong. Oh yeah, a big problem. But uh, the pros is uh, clean the between in
trabajando sola. I was alone too. Yes. Uh, teacher, your microphone. But now we are three. Okay. Yo hablando great. sola estaba, teacher. Yeah, for the reason I, 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 I keep in monitoring uh, all the groups in order to give a hand if you have any problem. And I saw you alone and for the reason I joined. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. You can start asking okay. questions and I would like to hear the way that you are going to answer it. Okay. Okay. Um, yes, sir. What yes, do you want to do? <laughs> Anna. Do you okay. want to be the interviewer or the responder? <laughs> um, in question. Okay, you so I'm going to answer. Yes. Okay, great. Go ahead. When uh, at work, sería uh -huh. el trabajo, ¿verdad? When um, yes. at, at work. At uh, work. Ahí podría decir que no lo uso porque... No, que no lo uso porque ahí me queda chance. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Ah, uh -huh. Y el otro que dice que no uso. Because I don't have much time at work. Uh -huh. Because I don't have time. Time. Uh -huh. Sí. Um, so yeah, I said the same because okay. I don't. I'm sorry, excuse me. Sorry, uh -huh. <laughs> I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Estamos ahí viendo cómo estamos, cómo ponemos el del hilo, entonces. When you don't, why not? Mm -hmm. When you don't have, uh, you say that you don't have time, you are not going to spend a lot of time in order to do that, you know? Uh -huh. And you have it in your purse, you are going to open it, take a piece, and then you are going to start flossing. <laughs> yeah, but I, but I want to see it's just uh, the way that you are going to answer the question. And if you have enough vocabulary to to answer it in the right way, okay? Okay. Okay. Wait, time is over, time is over. Se nos acabó el tiempo. I need to leave. Not yet again. <laughs> Ten minutes more, teacher. Teacher is on mute. On my okay, I gave you 10 minutes, and I guess it is now. In order that you interrupt each other and uh look for the best way how to answer this question. And I know that you are related with the term. Because uh, when we talk about dental floss, the action is flossing. At the moment that you take a piece of uh, 
flush you start doing the action it is called flushing and flushing means limpiarse los dientes that is easy okay but how do you feel at the moment that somebody uh, uh, ask you the question ¿Cómo, cómo se sintieron al momento de, de, de que alguien le hizo la pregunta was easy for you to answer it or not or was difficult tell me it's a little difficult for me. Ah. Difficult teacher. Why? Could you tell me why? Yeah, maybe because uh, in in the case with Wendy, because uh, don't understand the meaning uh, 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 some uh, words, for example, uh, closing, uh, we finding in a dictionary. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on a second. Let me show you something here. But is limpieza con hilo dental? Yes. Okay, let me tell you this. At the moment that I show you this question, I have something here that is related and, that, and it is giving you some ideas about what I'm talking about. Dental flossing. And also we talk about toothpaste. At the moment that also that you see this word and also you see the word teeth. That means that uh, suddenly as the moment that you see this word, you just get some picture in your mind. I don't know if you got my message. Ok, en español, cuando nosotros oímos la palabra casa, inmediatamente en nuestra mente se nos aparece una imagen, una figura, ¿sí? ¿Cierto o no? Yes. Ok. Yes, teacher. And here, at the moment that, uh, that you see the word dental, inmediatamente que dio la palabra dental, usted lo que debe de hacer es relacionar eso y decir, ah, tiene que ver con los dientes. Y después habla de pasta y después habla de dientes. Y habla de hábitos dentales. Sometimes you don't need to know exactly the meaning of every word in order to get an idea of what we are talking about. Later on, maybe you can have the opportunity, the chance to look it up in the dictionary to be pretty sure about what we are talking about. It. But uh, as I told you before, you need to create your own book out. Necesitamos como ir creando un vocabulario diario. Eh, y al final de la clase decir, hoy eh, estas son las palabras que aprendí o que encontré y que debo de aprender. And I'm going to give you a tips. If you want to learn a word, you need to repeat it at least 15 times. Si necesita aprenderse una palabra, por lo menos debe de pronunciarla 15 veces. And later on you are going to start using it in a sentence, in a phrase, and that way you are going to keep it in your, in your brain. Y luego la va a mantener ahí en, en su cerebro. Porque si se aprendió pero no se usa, se tiende a borrar. Eso es un proceso. 
Entonces, uh, I know that sometimes you have some some uh, those how to what is the meaning of the word or something like that. But later on, you will start giving your opinion about different topic. Okay. Okay. ¿Qué más pasó al momento de responder? What else? Hello. Uh, no, uh, but when the answer uh, uh, all all questions. Ah, okay. Okay, let us continue then. Let me see what else we have. Okay, we have type of question. We already talked about this, but I would like to hear one of you reading this slice. Tell me. Only one, no more than one, please. Meditation. Okay. Types of questions. Engagement questions. Introduce participants to a topic and make them comfortable with the topic of the question. What is your favorite toothpaste? What do you notice when you look at other people's teeth? Okay. 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 Thank you. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Okay. Types of questions. Engagement question. Introduce participants to a topic and make them comfortable with the topic of discussion. What is your favorite toothpaste space? What do you notice when you look at other people's teeth? Okay. And what we understand about this engagement question, introduce participant, introduce participant to a topic and made them comfortable with the topic or discussion. What is your favorite to speak? What do you notice when you look at other people's teeth? Okay. And when we talk about a plotting question to get the midst of the discussion, what is, what is the meaning of that expression? Exploring, get to the meat of the discussion. Tell me. Maybe it refers to the main details. Exactly. About, about the product. About the discussion, about the topic. Okay. Because in, in, in your vocabulary, you, have, you got a meaning of this word. 
literally, right? Yes or not? No, not this literal because no this carne. No, yes, that is what I'm telling you. Eso es lo que le estoy diciendo. In this case, it's como llegar al centro o a lo, sí. a lo resto. Eso es lo que estoy tratando de explicarles. Les estoy diciendo que a, a, en el momento que vimos la expresión, tenemos un concepto literal del significado de la palabra meets. ¿Ya? Y vemos lo que dije, la imagen. Pero ahora, esta palabra usada dentro de esta expresión ya tiene otro significado idiomático que nos está diciendo otra cosa. Get to the meat of the discussion. ¿Sí? Ya ahí ya no significa lo que significaba antes. ¿Me comprenden? Yes, sir. Sí, teacher. Ok. Ok. Entonces, sí. Si, sería como ir al punto. To get to the meat of the, meat of the discussion. Podría ser una traducción así. Bueno, por ahí se la voy dejando. Sigamos. Ok, who wants to read the next one? Me, teacher. Ok. The questions, right? Yeah, yes, the question. Ok, it says, who in particular has influenced your dental habits? Okay, who wants to answer this question? Me, hey, teacher. Okay. Uh, my dad. Ah, okay, okay. He has influenza because he has a strong dental habits. Habits, habits. Yes. Okay. 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 He was because they. He, he was because he is in the heaven right now. Oh, okay. Rest in peace. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. In my case, teacher, my mother, okay, when I was a child. Okay, you can say my mom. Instead of saying my mother, you can say my mom. Okay. And I think that you are doing the same with your, with, with your kids, right? Yes, in my case, my mommy and my grandma. And your grandma, okay. Yeah. Excellent. Let us see what we have next because we already talked about this question, but okay. In next question, check to see if anything was missed in the discussion. Is there anything else you would like to say about? Why you do or do not flush your teeth on irregular basis? You need to be careful about this. Check to see if anything was missed. Vea si algo le hizo falta, si algo faltó. Y si hizo falta, eh, tratar de usar otro tipo de, de otra pregunta, sí, para para Sacar la información que se está buscando. Okay, we got the flow of the focus group. Who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay. Distribute the questionnaire. Okay, distribute. Well, distribute. Dis, dis, distribute the distribute. questionnaire. Okay. Welcome. Thank you. And 
thank you and introduction. Read from script, engagement question, exploratory question, class follow-ups, exit question, thank you. And thank you, okay. This is the way that we are going to follow at the moment that we are going to flow a focus group. We need to follow this order. The first one is to, to distribute the questionnaire, maybe the question, yeah? And then you are going to welcome and thanks and introduce. And maybe you are going to, to read the question, the script that you have, and you are going to start with engagement question, then exploratory question, follow-up question, exit, and then you are going to say, okay, thank you very much. And maybe you are going to give an a snack or something like that. Pero habrá que darle algo a la gente al final. Okay, your role as a facilitator. Who wants to read it? Edition. Respect the participants. Show empathy and positive regard. Be Buddha. Understand the words of the student. Communicating the clarity. Be open, not defensive. No good no mental. Get the most useful information for you. College about the topic at hand. You are the rest resource research tool. Uh -huh, okay. How, how do you read the last part? You are? You are? The research tool. The research tool. You okay. are the research tool. Okay. Respect the participant, show empathy, and positive regard. Be Buddha. What is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of be Buddha? Because we are going to show empathy and a positive regard. And, and in other words, we are going to stay uh, calm down, you know? Understand the purpose of the study. Communicate clearly. The communication has to flow clearly. Be open, no defensive. What is the meaning? Somebody wants to explain me. What is the meaning of the be open, not defensive? Be open, not defensive. Yeah, what is that? Maybe because you are open to the opinions, you are not going to be against others' uh, arguments or or an idea that might not follow your yours. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, later on we are going to see something that is sure but has uh, a great meaning in, in this kind of activities, non-judgmental. It, it, it's another thing that we need to take into account, get the most useful information for your colleagues about the topic at hand. And don't forget that you are the research tool. You are the one that is going to get the information Okay, before to go to the next uh, slides, antes de ir a la siguiente uh, lámina, try to identify, identify all the words that maybe you have no idea about the meaning. Trate de, de identificar todas las palabras que eh, no comprende. Teacher, hello. Um, I only have, I guess, I didn't comprehend the meaning about the one in parentheses, be Buddha. Uh, be Buddha, okay. 
that is a, a, a saying, a good saying that way. Uh -huh. and, and the meaning is that, have, have you seen the, the Buddha statue? Uh-huh, yes. Yeah, he stay in this way. It's called down. It, like, it's talk about the poster? Not exactly, but uh, what I'm trying to give you is some picture in order that you can understand what, I, what I'm going to tell you later on. That is to stay in a, in a, in a, in a positive, but in a, at the same time, in a, in a relaxed mood. Oh. Ah, ok. You got it? Yes. Ok, por eso dice, sé un Buda. Al got momento it. de hacer eso, quiere decir de que usted va a estar calmado, relajado. Ah. Eh, no vamos a andar ahí así, bien azorados. No. We need to be calm down. Ya. Yeah? All right. Sí, party, chicos. No verbal language can influence the group. Could you be? Um, it's for a no verbal language because nuestra forma corporal, nuestro lenguaje no verbal, no language, verbal, no sé si se dice no verbal language, can be influenced. Uh, uh, yes. Let, let us see the next one. Uh, I, I, I got it in the next slide, I guess. And even the way that you are going some time to answer and we nod our head, cuando hacemos este tipo de movimiento o in this one, uh, we are conveying some meaning. Okay. And I, I told you, that I got something sharp, but it's uh, have a great meaning. Facilitator, this is the mantra that the facilitator has to repeat. This is not about me. This is not about me. Yeah? Why? Somebody want to explain me? Why we have to use the mantra? Teacher. Hello? Can you tell me now? What's mean facilitator mantra, please? Okay. Next mantra one. specific. Okay, mantra is, uh, how can I say, a special yes. words that we use to resolve or to get a specific level in our mind. El mantra son palabras especiales que se usan para alcanzar un estado de la mente a través del cual nos ayude a poder realizar eh, X actividad. Si usted, por ejemplo, ha visto el arte del Harikiri, es un arte japonés que consiste en perforarse cualquier parte del cuerpo. Y usted, a través de la pronunciación de ciertos mantras, logra controlar el dolor. Entonces, okay. por eso se usa esa palabra de mantra. Y esa palabra mantra hoy está en la mayoría de, de, de actividades que se hacen en marketing en different aspect. We, we have the word mantra. Son palabras claves. Expresión, okay. Expresiones claves. Entonces... El facilitador need to have this kind of mantra. This is not about me. Esto no es acerca de mí, o sea, no es conmigo. Es decir, lo que él está buscando es la información para resolver el problema. No es yeah. person personal, ¿ok? I got it. Thank ok. You. Ok. Ok, uh, okay. let's see what else. Personality, sensitive, creative, confident, communication skill, listen, question, be clear. Management skill, establish rapport, maintains control, be direct, be flexible, be receptive. Maybe some of those words you don't have any idea about what we are talking about. For example, this one, what is establish rapport? What is that?
Uh huh. Tell me. You're going to establish rapport. What is that? The communication or the relation to the interviewer. It's about good relationship. It has to be with the relationships. At the moment that we are, uh, that we start talking with a client, we need to establish the rapport. What could be? In Spanish, what could be a rapport? En español sería como crear la confianza o que, la, o que se establezca cierta confianza. Ok, ok. Establecer la cierta armonía, buen entendimiento, un buen ambiente. Ok. Okay, let us see what else do we have here because uh, I've been looking for. Okay, what about this one? What about that? Set the time. The focus group begins the moment people enter the room. What is that? Tell me. What is the meaning of the expression? ¿Cuál es el significado de esa expresión? Si arriba nos está diciendo que es lo que debemos de hacer. Is is when the participants have agreed the the selection decision. B. Bean. Bean. So now you start with the group that they get into the room, you need to set the tone, the way how you are going to speak to them. Okay. And at the moment that you are going to respond to comment how you are going to do it. Who wants to read it? Read. Oh, you. Okay, read it. Who? You want it. Okay. <laughs> Responding to comments, smile, listen actively, good eye contact, head nodding slowly, not in agreement fast, but encouraging further disclosure. Use neutral lang language response to encourage the speaker to continue. Yes, okay. Mm. Ish, ish, mm. <laughs> above above you, you mental language. That's correct. You're, you are, you're right. I agree. No, good idea. What? Don't interrupt. 
Be careful with humor. Just be yourself. Okay. Smile. 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 Yeah. And you need to produce the sound also later S. Smile. Smile. Okay. Listen actively. Good eye contact. That means that you need to keep your eye watching, trying to see everything, every detail. Head nodding slowly. What is that? What is nodding? Nodding is this. When when you when you used to say this or this. Not in agreement. That is, if when you do it fast. Se entiende esta parte. Yes or not? Tell me. No, teacher. Head nodding. What is that? Move the head. <clears throat> yes, that is a, that is a minute. Over la cabeza. Yes. Um, when you uh, nod your head is when, when you do this, how you say, okay? A slowly, head nodding, slowly, not in agreement. Not in agreement, but it's fast when you do it this way, yeah? We used to, to, to talk with, it, it is called body language, you know? But in carrying father is closer, Ok, recordemos que estas son las maneras de cómo vamos a responder un comentario, sonría, escucha activamente, mantenga contacto visual, ¿sí? That is what I'm trying to explain you, use neutral language responses to encourage the speaker to continue. Hay que usar un lenguaje neutral, ¿sí? Para darle oportunidad al, al hablante que continúe. Yes, ok. Mm -hmm. A voice, a judgmental language. Como por ejemplo, that's correct. You are right. I agree. No. Good idea. What? Don't interrupt. And be careful with humor. Just be yourself. Be careful with humor. Just be yourself. Ok. Pregunta, preguntas. Hello. Hello. Yes, teacher. Please make the question. Do you have a question? I'm asking you if you have any questions apart from here. No? Okay, let me stop chatting. Do you remember that I show you this material? Let me see. Well, we, we, we already talked about this, but I need that you read it again. Do you remember that we talked about this? 
and based on my lesson plan, I, I, I need, we need to read it again. Okay, who wants to do it? <laughs> Somebody want to read it? No? Okay, hold on a second, let me see. Okay. Okay. Uh, see the beginning. Yeah, from the beginning, you can help. Uh, you can help your members. Okay, you can help your members have a more productive session by asking questions that grab their attention and get them to provide more honest and complete response. Okay, I'm going to read that last two line. You can help your members have a more productive session by asking questions that grab their attention and get them to provide more honest and complete responses. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Continue. Number one. Introduction. Begin the session with a set of questions that will enable focus group members to get to know each other better, e.g. their favorite hobbit and interest, what they enjoy focus group, etc. Ah, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Introduction. Introduction. Repeat. Introduction. 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 Begin with the section with a set of questions that will enable focus group members to get to the to know each other. To know each other. Repeat. To know each other. To know each other. Better. Better. Do you know what is the meaning of these two words? Saben el significado de estas dos letras? No. These two, two letters. No? No. No, it, teacher. It is in Latin. It comes from Latin. Viene de Latin, que significa example given. Es como un ejemplo dado. Eso es lo que significa. Es el, es el por ejemplo, en español. Yeah. The, the, their favorite hobbies and interest. Eso, esto se usa más que todo son una escritura. E.g. Cuando vemos e.g. E eso, eso es uh, ejemplos dados. Example given. Their favorite hobbies and interest, but they enjoy focus group and so on. Que en vez de etcétera puede decir so on, but this, in this case, etc. Okay. So on. Yeah, so on and so on. So, um, or another word yeah, that we can use instead of say, for example, we can say for instance. Okay, who wants to continue with the second one? Number two. Number two. Another uh, people. Number two, fun, fun, started question or activity. Ask a fun question or to, or do a team building, building game to get the groups creatively following. For example, ask, ask them to think the three words to describe the favorite hobby. Okay, this is a fun starter question or activity. Repeat. Fun starter question or activity. Ask a fun question or do a team building game. 
ask a fun question or to a team building. Building, building. Building. To get the groups. To get the groups. Creativity flowing. Creativity flowing. For example. For example. Ask them. Ask them. To think. To think. To think of three words. Of three words. To describe their favorite hobby. To describe their favorite hobby. Ah, okay, much better. Okay, somebody else wants to read the number three? Me, teacher. Okay. Format. When choosing focus group question, be sure to include a mix of multiple choice question to provide a structure and direction and open-ended question to allow for further exploration and discovery. Okay, father, father, father or father exploration and discovery. Um, as you can see, all this aspect, we already mentioned it and we already read in the slides that I show you. Todos estos aspectos de los que nos está sugiriendo el material de, es lo que hemos hablado en las diapositivas que hemos visto. Number four. Who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay. Rating scale. Select an appropriate rating scale to measure different levels of approval. Ah, okay. Rating scale. Select an appropriate rating scale to measure different levels of approval. That means you need to have a chart and maybe you are going to record it in Excel in that way that you can uh, have a diagram or something like that. Yes. Es posible que quizás lo vamos a tener hasta en Excel para que al final, dependiendo de las respuestas que obtengamos, eh, nos va a dar eh, algún diagrama que nos va a medir los diferentes niveles de aprobación que tenga yes. lo que se está haciendo. Sí. Yeah. Ok. Number maybe five. in Excel. Maybe in Me Excel. Or is it to show the result? Yes, it's better to show the result, the result. Result, thank you. Wendy. Specificity, avoid baggage, bake, bake open and then, no se no se teacher. Questions that simple, ask why the world, why, has a negative meaning, it makes the respond, respondent think their first answer was not, not good. Instead, as respondent to provide some specific examples of what they like or did not like about the item, in question. Okay, I'm going to start in this way. Let me see, okay, right here, instead. 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 Okay, as respondent to provide some specific example of what they light, light. Light. Yeah, with that T sound at the end, light. Light. Or did not like about or the item in question. Item in question. Yes. And the last one, number six. Um, six, closing. Thank the participants for their help and ask if there anything could be done to provide, improve their experience as a member of the focus group. Okay. 
thank the participants for their help and ask if there is anything could be done to improve their experience as a member of the focus group. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Of course, I got a lot of info about this topic, but we don't have enough time to to talk about because, for example, I, I got some follow-up question and I would like to share with you some example. Uh, you can say, could you explain it more? Can you give me an example? Would you say a little more about that? Tell us more. Say more. Is there anything else? Please describe what you mean. Can you be more specific? What do you mean by, and you start asking questions in this way. And also, uh, we need to know how we are going to confirm information. How you are going to do it. Well, you can say, I think you are saying, yo pienso que tú estás diciendo tal cosa. Let me know if I heard correctly. Para, cor para confirmar algo. Let me know if I heard correctly. Yeah, and also you can use it at the moment that I'm explaining you something. You can tell me that expression. Para confirmación de la información. That is really important to do it. And don't forget that we need to be neutral. Neutrality is in really important. We need to be aware of your bias and judgment. And another thing that we need to take into account is that we need to treat everyone equally. Be aware of your body language. Yeah, that means that we need to take into account the way that we are going to give responses. We already know your opinion and experience. Um, your input will take into consideration and a different point of the project. And in that way, you can continue talking about that. Well, I got more info, but as I told you, the time is over. And at the end, I would like to know the, your point of view about what we already have uh, started. In a brief way, at least, I would like to hear at least three participants that tell me in your own words, make a summary of what we talk about today. Let us see who wants to do it. In this class, I, I, I saw a lot of words around means. I don't know what that means. So I think I am learning more vocabulary. Ah, okay. Somebody else? In today's class, we were practicing the questions for a real questionnaire, and also we were answer them. And from my personal speaking, I understood the meaning of, of, of that phrase about Buddha. Ah, okay, okay. That's awesome. That's... Be a Buddha, be a Buddha. Okay, excellent. So Maria wants to say something about it. Hello. For me, it's interesting the use flow floating because for my kids, uh, yo pensaba que era algo mental. Pero en el contexto, era, no entendía bien que no era eso. Ah, okay. Okay, remember that you are uh, getting uh, a higher level, you know. Recuérdense que vamos de lo básico o de lo simple a lo más complejo. Y eh, hay muchas palabras que a medida el, el nivel va cambiando, también su significado irá cambiando. ¿Sí? Ok. That's it? That's all? 
or somebody That's wants. All. Okay, let me see the attendance. Déjeme ver a quién le corresponde el uno a uno el día de hoy, que por cierto algunos se me van. And I stay alone and just speaking 10 minutes. But if you say that you don't have any question, any command, okay. Maybe they have a day. Really? Wendy, su teoría quedó descartada, se recuerda. Sí, sí, es sí. Ah, okay. No, pero hoy sí le he entendido. A veces no le entiendo. Ajá, I got you, I got you. Ok, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Artista. Present teacher. Escobar. Present. Hernández. Present. Francis. Galileo. Present, sir. Jonathan. Rodrigo. Eh... Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Laura. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. I'm here, teacher. Mayra Veralice. No apareció Mayra, mire, y ahora le correspondía a ella el tiempo de los 10 minutos. Miguel Ángel Mendoza. Zaira, Present teacher. Ok. Zaira. Zaira. Zaira no está. Misael is there. Present teacher. Maribel. Present teacher. Suleyma. Present teacher. Eh, Yesenia. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. Brian. 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 No está Brian. Okay. We're finished. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. No questions. No questions, no questions sir. Ah, okay. No questions. Questions. No Wendy. <laughs> no questions, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Uh, Clear I... with river, as a water river. <laughs> Jesus. My goodness. Okay, I hope to see you tomorrow. Uh, remember, uh, tomorrow we are going to finish uh, unit two. And uh, we are going to be ready to start the third one. That means that we are uh, in the middle of the module, kind of in the middle, you know? That means go ahead, keep, don't give up and you are going to finish and you are going to get more information, more vocabulary that is going to help you a lot, okay? Okie dokie. I hope to see you Thanks. tomorrow then. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bless, Bless, you. Bless you all. Thank you. Have a see good you. night. Good night. Elizabeth is sleeping. 
ואני שווה את 